you guys went into the buy last year and made some changes. Do you have a similar thought process that you can dial some different things up and, and see improvement after the buy? For sure. I mean, there will be uh, there'll be there'll be talks and planning on how we can get this thing rolling on offense um, as there was last year. Um, there needs to be because. Um, when our defense is playing like that, we got we got to score some points for them, and um, we just need to be better as a whole. How do you think Broderick did in his first start? Uh, pretty good, man. Broderick, uh, he held his own in there. Just uh, um, we were talking, you know, Coach T was talking about a lot during the week, just having fight um, as a team, and I think Broderick showed a lot of that. Um, there was no backing down from him. He he played his butt off. When you got a new guy coming in like that, a rookie, what you know, what's like the challenge for him? To... You know, when you when joining a group that's been established. For you, but I yeah, I think uh, I think there's certainly a, a, pre a pressure aspect to it, right? Um, first round pick in his first start um, in a big divisional game, but I think he handled it well. Um, he had no choice but to handle it well, and he did. There's a lot of first and second year guys that have been making impacts over the last few weeks. Do you foresee that kind of youth movement becoming part of the identity more so after the bye? Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I think. Um, this league is a young man's league. Um, I think as um, the salary cap set up, I think young guys got to play well, and we've been fortunate enough to have young guys play well. So, um, and when you're young and you're playing well, you're going to get more opportunities. So, um, I'm no coach, but um, when you play well, you're going to get more chances. So, when you talk right. about that fight as as a team, and you look at the way the offense played in the fourth quarter, especially with that scoring drive, just what does that do for you guys going into the bye to at least be able to have that on film as opposed to last year, you know, going with a little bit of a worse taste maybe for in sure. the Eagles game? Yeah, it's huge. I think, uh, I mean, we're at a, a really different point than where we were last year. Um, you know, we still are not playing up to our level, but um, just as a team and as a whole, we're at a different point, and um, we just have to put it all together. Um, there's flashes of it here and there. We just have to be more consistent and execute more consistently. What do you feel like the biggest just difference is are in those two points? Uh, wait, so what do you mean? The, the, in like where you, from where you guys were entering the bye last year to where you are entering the bye this year. Yeah, I just think uh, we're playing really good team football right now. Um, like I said, when you can be three and two and first in your division, not have played your best ball in any of these five games really, um, it is pretty impressive. But um, the road is going to get narrower as the season goes on, and we're going to have to get better. Do you Mason. feel like Kenny's at a different point going into the bye this year than he was a year ago? For sure. I mean, um, I don't know. I don't know. He's three or four starts in last year when he going into the bye, and um, I mean, I don't know what it's like to play that position, but I know what it's like to be a young player in this re league. And um, you know, when you're not playing well, you're swimming upstream a little bit, and um, you know, I think he's confident. Um, it's just we're at a different point, like I said this year. Just. Uh, but we still have so much to get better at. Mason, as you're, as you're watching the tape, and obviously you want to be consistent, and you're seeing those flashes, is there anything you can pinpoint as to why it's not more consistent? What are you guys discussing as, as you're watching that? Yeah, I think it's as a whole, right? I mean, I got to be better. The, the, our group's got to be better. Um, we got to line up quicker as receivers. I mean, I don't understand the passing game, the whole bunch, but um, we all have to be better. It's just across the board, we're just not consistently playing at the highest level. Um, and when you're not doing that, it just there's glimpses of it where we're all playing really well, and there's glimpses of it where we're not playing well, um, and it's just inconsistent. That stuff is exactly. fixable, like for sure. It's not like a very hard thing. It's just little. For sure, it's certainly fixable. Um, we just got to fix it. Um, whatever it takes to fix it, we got to do. Um, which is good. We're we're at a good point where um, we're a little banged up a little bit too, so it's goodbye to get a little healthy and and, uh, and fix those things. Thank you. Thanks, Mason. When you look at how the offense moved the ball in the fourth quarter, particularly on that scoring drive, just what was the difference in how you guys were able to move the ball then versus earlier in the game when things weren't working? Mm, I think it's just like us playing together, like the offense and the defense. The defense getting the ball back for the offense, you know, giving us the juice, giving us the momentum, you know, just being able to play with that sense of the sense of urgency, you know, like when they come off the field, you know. Um, it's, it's basically crunch time, you know. We had no choice but to, you know, do what was needed for us to win the game. So, Mr. Jones, did you have fun balling with your brows? It's <laughs> 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 a hard hitting question. Yeah. Did you uh, did you learn anything about yourself in that game? I mean, obviously you played a lot the previous week, but just having a week to prepare for it and starting from play one. Uh, did you learn anything about yourself? And yeah, I feel like it's a it's a difference, you know, being like coming off the bench and, and actually like starting the game off. Um, yeah. 
you know, you could just feel the difference in like the whole intensity of the game. Like yeah. it starts with practice, like because since I'm a one now, I get more reps. Um, I see a lot of different things, you know, so just having that, you know, it helped a lot. So. Do you ever get jitters before a game, and, and was there anything unusual? I always, I always get jitters, no matter how long I've been doing it, man. I still get them, you know. Um, I feel like that's just me, though, trying to be perfect at everything I do. So I feel like that's where that comes from. Anything does it help different? to play with jitters? Uh, sometimes it does. Uh, not all the time, but sometimes it, it does. Some first rounders get thrown right into it. How much for you do you feel like that those extra weeks of seasoning helped once you finally did? Uh, get that opportunity Sunday. I feel like it helped a lot. Um, you know, I was really raw when I came in. Um, but Coach Pat, Coach Isaac, they did a great job, you know, just having me work on one specific thing each and every week to get better at. Uh, they weren't trying to, like, overload me. Uh, with just trying to, like, push me to do everything at once. So, you know, I feel like that was a big asset to me. When you talk about being raw, is there anything specifically that comes to mind? Um, uh, just like my... Just like using my hands, uh, technique, footwork, you know, just the simple things. I think that's kind of what like people were saying about you coming out in the draft. Did you read any of those evaluations? <laughs> nah, man, I, don't work, I don't look at that stuff. Man. At the end of the day, I got one job to do, and that's play football. So, you know, that's it really doesn't affect me or benefit me in any way. So. I saw somebody on social media noted how fast you got to the end zone. Congratulate, George. <laughs> man, I like I like to celebrate with my receivers, man, because um, they run all the time. So you know when they when they go down and score, you know, and for me to run down there one play and celebrate with them, you know, it ain't gonna make no difference. So. How quickly did you realize that was a touchdown? I probably after I heard everybody scream. <laughs> I, I pretty much either knew it was a big play and I had to get downfield or it was a touchdown. So either way, I was going to be running. What's your last two? Well, what's your mentality? What's your, what are you looking for when it's time to uh, celebrate a touchdown in the end zone? Do you have a go-to uh, you know, move or, or something? You not really. <laughs> not really. I just linemen they usually pick guys I just, up. I just, whatever, yeah, right? I, but, I really <laughs> just wing it. Whatever they doing, you know, I just I just try and follow the way. Roger. How do you take that drive and make it bigger for them and build on it for after the bye? Um, just preparation throughout the week. Um, you know, we got a bye week coming up. You know, just being able to to lock in and hone in on those those fine details. You know, like as an offense, I feel like it helps us a lot. So, thank you, brother. Thanks, brother. Quan, it looked like you guys made a second half adjustment as an inside linebacker group. You were more effective getting after Lamar and, and the runners. What was that? What was working better for you guys in the second half? Uh, just us playing. We didn't really have no adjustments. We just went out there and played hard and played fast. And, uh, just got to the ball, you know what I'm saying? We were just out there having fun. Quan, how much can you build on that? What's something coming out of the break you want to see improve defensively? Uh, we could build a lot on it. You know, we're just taking it one step at a time. We're not uh, trying to go past that. Just taking it one step at a time. So uh, when we get back, we're just going to keep the same routine and just go out there. What does it do for you guys as a group to have a performance like that against Lamar Jackson, especially going into the bye week? Um, it, do, it does a lot because, you see, uh, it shows us where we at you know, um, and what we can, when we can be. So we're looking forward to the, uh, the weeks, or with a, not this week, but the next week, to get back playing. Well, what's it tell you about this team that you're able to not play your best as a group but still find a way to get a win at the end? Uh, man, you know, that's just the NFL. You know how it goes. You just got to figure it out together as a team and trust each other. Offense, defense, and special team, and that's what we did. I know the offense has said that they feed off of you guys as a defense, but were the roles reversed a little bit in the second or in the fourth quarter, especially after that touchdown? Did you guys feed off of that? Yeah, momentum? we feed off of each other. You know, that's what that's the that's the main goal. You know, for us to feed off each other and uh, have each other back and go out there and be successful and get get wins. So that's what we're trying to do. All right, thank you, Brian. No problem.